Now we're going to take a look at the pizza topping fraction problem. The people who visit Mr. Marinick's Edublog got together to have a pizza party. Use the clues below to decide what toppings are on each of the 16 pizzas. Now you could pause it, look at the clues, and try to solve it by yourself. Or if you're giving this to your class, you can pause it now, have them read the clues and solve it in partners. That might be a good idea. Either way, here we go. Let's solve this problem. Well, I notice right off the bat there are 16 pizzas. And your job is to use the clues to decide what toppings are on each of those 16 pizzas. I'm going to approach this in order. Uh, this is a problem you can do in order. Some You might have to start backwards and look at the last problem and go from there. But this one, straightforward. Uh, and the first clue says one-fourth of the pizzas are just plain cheese. So the first thing I'm going to do is make 16 pizzas. I've got a row of four, so I'm looking at four rows of four to make the 16 pizzas. I'm going to start thinking about those clues. I'm thinking that the first clue was talking about cheese pizzas. And it said that one-fourth of the pizzas are just plain cheese. So let's do that. Okay, one-fourth of 16. Well, you might know that one-fourth of 16 is four, but if you want to look at the fraction, you could say you could have one-fourth, and the denominator tells you to make groups of four. So you could do that. Um, there's a group. See that? And you, you can go you know, down the list and mark off pizzas as one out of four, having cheese as their topping. So let's kind of do that. All right, let me just remove that, that line, uh, the circle, because we're going to go through and erase them from time to time. So we'll just kind of break them up like this. So you can just see the groups of four. All right. And according to the first clue, one out of every four of these pizzas was cheese. So we'll put a C on that for cheese. And then we can move on to the next clue. So you can see that we have four cheese pizzas so far. We've taken care of that first clue, so that's that's done. Now we'll take a look at the second clue. All right. Second one says, one third of the remaining pizzas have only pepperoni topping their pie. All right, so we're looking at pepperoni and one third of the remaining pizzas. Okay. Now, if you imagine, you know, the remaining pies here, you can see those, that section, we'll kind of shrink that back down so it's easier to work with. So that, that section, okay, that looks like three, six, nine, twelve of the pizzas remain. Now, one third of those have to be pepperoni. Okay, so I'm thinking of groups of three, okay. Kind of look at groups of three. Okay, there's there's a group of three. So out of those, there would be since it's one third, one out of those three would be pepperoni. And now we can look at the next group of three. Well, I'll just highlight this one too, so you get the idea. That's a group of three. So it said one third of the remaining pizzas had pepperoni as the topic. So now we'll just mark off one of those three. And if, if you follow visually down the next row after the cheese there, that would have one out of three pepperoni. And the last one, one out of three, would be pepperoni. Okay. 
And that leaves us, looks like, two, four, six, eight pizzas left without toppings. And we'll go back to the third clue. We've taken care of clue number two. Now let's look at clue number three. One fourth of the remaining pizzas have sausage and mushrooms. One fourth of the remaining pizzas. One fourth. Okay. Sausage, mushrooms. Sometimes it's good to underline or highlight clues if you're working with paper and pencil and highlighter, though that would be great. So one fourth have sausage and mushrooms. So now we're looking at these remaining pies right there. And one fourth of those would have a different topping. If you couldn't remember what the topping was, you could always go back to the problem. We've got to underline there sausage and mushrooms. All right. So one fourth of those. I'm, the denominator tells me to really look at, you know, groups of four of these. So I'm going to take a look at this group of four here. And now, so this one has mushroom and sausage, and okay, so we've got, okay, one out of that group of four, and then I'm looking at this group, the last, this group of four over here. One out of four of those would have mushroom and sausage. Okay, we've taken care of the next clue. Moving right along here. Clue number four comes up next. Half of the remaining pizzas have ham and pineapple. Half. It's that benchmark fraction we've talked about in another post. We've seen it many times. Half of the pizzas have ham and pineapple. So H and P. All right. Half of the remaining. And you can see you have six remaining pizzas with no toppings whatsoever. And half of those... Um, you know, half of the half of six would be three, but to look at the fraction, we've got one half of that grouping would be one out of two, and we'll kind of continue that down. So three out of six have ham and pineapple. I need to look back and check to see which I should label these as. So we've got ham. Uh, and pineapple, half of six would be three, and that leaves us with just three pizzas left. We checked off that clue number four, and we're looking at clue number five. And we've got one-third of the remaining pizzas, one third of the remaining pizzas have mushrooms and black olives, and M and B. Okay, so one third will be mushrooms and black olives. Well, look at that. It's already a group of three, so you can clearly see that when you look at this set of three pizzas, one out of three of those would have mushrooms and black olives. So let's remark those off. I think we've used green. Right? Mushrooms and black olives. Let's just put M and B for those. Oh, goodness. Did I make a mistake? Let's check. My clue said one third of the remaining pieces. Oh, it looks like I did two out of three. That would be two-thirds of the remaining pizza. So we'll have to backtrack a little bit. Get rid of that last one there. And now, that shows one-third. Okay, it's good to check your work. When I went back up and reread that clue, I caught my mistake. And that's a good strategy to recheck your work. So now, clue number five is taken care of. Uh, we'll move on to number six. Number six shows us that half of the remaining pizzas have hamburger. You might be thinking, Mr. Marinick, there are only two pizzas remaining. So one half of two would be one. You'd be right. So you'll mark off one half of those two with hamburger. So let's put H 
M. I'm just trying to write that in there because it really you want to we don't want to confuse it with ham. So there we go. Hamburger would be on that pizza. And we're done with that clue. That checks out. Half of the remaining pizzas. Yep, half remaining hamburger. Got it. All right. Last clue. Clue number seven, if you will, right there. Half of the final pizzas, half of the final pizza, oh, i got to read carefully there. There's one pizza left, has anchovies and hamburger, uh, whoa, anchovies and mushrooms, while the remaining half has bacon and green peppers. Wow, that's a complicated one. So the remaining half, bacon and green peppers. All right, so we have to take this final pizza and split it in half. That denominator of two tells us to do that. We have two equal parts to make up that last pizza. And on one half, we have anchovies and mushrooms. It looks like mushrooms there. See if we can move that out of the way. Slide it. There we go. Okay, anchovies and mushrooms. So A and M will be on half of that pizza. I'm going to write that in there, A and M. And last but not least, the final half of that last clue says, while well, the remaining half has bacon and green peppers. Bacon, I will right, we'll just put B and G. B and G. Bacon and green peppers. Boy, this is making me hungry. So, now if you look back at all your work, you've got it off written there. And uh, if you want to check what the, the initials for these mean, you'd bounce back up to the top and see what they mean. All right, C means cheese. So, four have cheese. Four have pepperoni. M and S, can't remember what that means. Let's check that third clue. Sausage and mushrooms. Ooh, I wrote it backwards. All right, so that's sausage and mushrooms, the MS, mushroom sausage. Then we have an H and P, I believe that was ham and pineapple, two of those. Then we have M and B, mushroom and black olive, one. Hamburger topping, one. And one pizza, well, they couldn't decide. They had anchovies and mushrooms and looks like black olives and green peppers. And there you have it. And that is the solution to the pizza topping fraction problem. Thanks for checking out Mr. Marinick's blog, and we'll see you next time.